sort of talk about, uh, you know, practices and how you guys been prepping for the first road game of the year? <clears throat> yeah, uh, right after the Penn State game, we had a day off. And then just like what Coach, ha- Coach Howard talks about, we worked on our habits. So we worked on guarding Michigan basketball, working on our plays, player development, get some shots up, you know, free throws, defensive habits, all the little things that we can tweak up. Uh, had another off day. Next, we had two more as we were working on ourselves. And then we right now we're working on Nebraska prep and it's been going pretty solid. Uh, watching film, going over their personnel. Uh, they're a real good team who likes to get out in transition. So we're aware of all their, you know, their ATOs, their plays, and it's just a matter of just going out there and playing on Christmas Day. But other than that, um, we've just been keeping our legs pretty healthy. Everybody's been healthy, thank God. And we've been locked in. Hey, we're going to start it off with uh, Brian Bush from uh, our radio. Hey, Isaiah. Good to see you. Um, <clears throat> with 12 days between games, have you been able to see some other teams in the Big Ten? I know you know this is a really tough league, but what's your gauge on what you've seen throughout the rest of the league? Uh, that you can lose any night. Uh, it's kind of like Big Ten last year, a little bit more firepower. We had guys that had teams that were uh, at 13, 12 that are really challenging some top five uh, Big Ten teams. So, like I said, every every battle, every game isn't going to be assumed a W. Uh, you have to fight for it. It's like you said, it's the Big Ten. Like, nothing's going to be given to you. You just got to keep working, and you got to know your personnel mainly. Uh, next question is from Seth Wells. Seth? All right, we'll go to Lauren Winthrop. Hey, Isaiah, what has been the biggest challenge without Austin? Oh, man. Another leader, another experienced vet, not being out there, and then his presence on the floor. He sets great screens, he runs, he plays hard, he talks, and his post work. Uh, he's another guy that's threat down there that can help Hunter and Brandon down there at the five spot on the block. And Without him there, you know, we're a little, um, a little short on big guys, but we always, like oh, Coach Howard always talks about next man up. T. Will has been doing a great job filling in for his time. We haven't seen Jaron Fold yet, but don't be surprised if he gets in against Nebraska because he's been working really hard this week as well. Nice to see you, Lolo. You too. Uh, next question is from Matt Leach from WTKA. I can't hear you, Matt. Yeah, very quietly. I can hear you very. Does that help at all? There we go. All right. So uh, the first thing that you touched upon with Austin being out is leadership. You being the senior leader on the team, the elder statesman uh, with new incoming freshmen, but also some of the older players being either transfers or grad transfers. What has that been like? What are you trying to instill in them? You've already played one Big Ten game, but now that we get into the the heat of Big Ten basketball? I just really, uh, like you said, uh, being down another senior leader, uh, we, we all try to do our best to keep everybody engaged because it's a, it can be seen as a long, like normalcy. Uh, you can see a season being super long, but I don't know now with the COVID, but still it's a long season and anything can happen. And uh, just because we beat Penn State doesn't mean the next game is going to get easier for us. It actually gets hard. It's the other way. It gets harder each game. You go down the road and – I don't know, just don't want guys to, like, just get relaxed. Like, you know, I don't want them to be feel comfortable of beating Penn. Penn State was a really good team, but there's a lot of other great teams in this Big Ten Conference that I want people to be aware and just don't sleep on. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I'd say the question from Seth, his audio is not working, was he just wanted to know what uh, you're feeling about playing on Christmas Day and the excitement of that being one of four showcase games in the Big Ten. Yeah, uh, at first I uh, – Talked about, I think, after a game, I wasn't too excited playing on Christmas Day. But now I think I'm going to change my stance, and I'm just actually excited to do that because not a lot of not a lot of guys can go through a lifetime and say they played on Christmas Day. Uh, it's kind of like a special day, a special feeling of just kind of feel like honored playing on Christmas Day, of being, like you said, being one of the few teams playing on the day. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it, you know, bring presents to family. Hopefully we can bring back a victory. So that's what really what we're going for. That's our biggest present on Christmas Day.